Hey guys, this is Zavin from DMC. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually set a co-host in your Zoom webinar, right? So when the moment that you're actually hosting a webinar, most of the time when the moment you started your presentations, uh, it'll be slightly harder for you to manage um, you know, some uh, behind the scenes settings, right? For you to admit the people in, for you to check on the you know, like Q&A, for you to reply the message and things like that, right? So what you can do is that you can actually set um, or, or point someone else to be your co-host together, right? To actually co-host your uh, webinar session in Zoom. So let's go into our step-by-step -step sharing. So if you're actually doing your uh, webinar, right, and you're thinking of you actually would like to um, have your team to become your co-host so that they can actually arrange, um, you know, the manage the behind the scenes, uh, you know, the settings, everything's right. You need to make sure that your team has been already joined to this webinar. So um, when they first join, they will be actually just joining as the normal attendees, yeah, the normal attendees. So you can see from here, I have one uh, guy over right here for Charles, yeah. So uh yeah, so he's actually uh as as the normal attendee. So what I can do is that I can actually promote him to the panelist. Right after I promote him to the panelist, that's only I can actually change him to co-host. Yeah. So what I will do is that so, okay, over right here, he is currently a normal participant, so he can't speak, um, he can't uh, show video, he cannot do anything, and um yeah, but and he can't see in totals on how many participants uh we have online so right now. Okay, so um, the moment that I promote him to panelists, uh, he can see everything from the back end, um, the same thing as how I see as a presenter. And at the same time, I can actually give him a co-host access. So what he can do is that he can kick people out, he can, you know, he can change people name, he can actually just, you know, help me to take over my screen, he can share his presentation screen as, at the same time, right? So if I'm actually having uh, two persons presenting at the same time, this is what you can do, yep. So I'm first going to promote him to the panelist, yep. So once you can see, um, after he promoted as a pan panelist, right, um, his name will actually disappear from the attendance attendees, yeah, so he will just go into the uh, panelists over right here. So right after over right here, right, um, there's actually two names, right? One name is my name, yeah, PMC Training. I'm having the host access. Yeah, second one is over right here as Charles. He's just purely as a panelist over right here. Uh, meaning to say he can just see what are the chats, you know, that's having right there. He can reply to the chats. He can also at the same time, he can just, you know, like uh, see the chats that sent privately to us as panelists. Or he can see like the numbers of participants like that, but he can't present right now still, yeah? So what I can do is that you can see over right here, I can just click under the more or I can set him as the co-host. So he will be co-host, um, you know, co-hosting the whole webinar together with me, okay? Um, or else if, uh, let's say I'm completely out from the hosting strategy, I want to treat the change or remove the whole hosting, to my um you know to the uh to another person's right i can actually just change everything um you know to make him as the main host yeah so i'll be removing myself completely from the host but in this case i'll be sharing with you how you're actually going to set as the co-host right so you can just set his name as co-host and confirm that as a co-host and that's it so in his screen he'll be looking at you know pretty much the same things that i have over right here and at the same time, he can actually just share his screen if he would to like to speak and then if he would like to actually show his video and he would actually like to actually share his uh, you know screen from the desktop. Now he has the full access. Okay. So when the moment that I feel that hey, I actually set a person, you know, a wrong wrong person to become my co-host, what happened? If I want to remove him, right? I can just come over to more and I'm just going to re re redraw the co-host permission completely withdraw the code permission and I'm going to throw him back to the attendee. Okay, so he will be completely removed from my panelists and he will just back to the, um, you know, attendees. So what he will be looking at over right here, you'll be just, uh, you know, a very simple screen. You can just chat, you can just ask for the Q&A, he can just, that's it. So he can't present himself, he can't talk, um, turn on the uh, mic and everything, no, okay? So that's all that in this video that I would like to share with you how you can actually uh, you know make a co-host uh, set a co-host um, you know to to a particular um, participants in your Zoom webinar.
So you can leave a comment below and let me know if you have successfully, you know, able to set the co-host for your Zoom session. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. How is like and share? If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.